Hello, my name is Lono. Today I'll show you how to draw 8 types of flowers for traditional tattoo designs. I'm gonna paint this flesh with watercolor. So I'm gonna use fine grain cold press arches paper. The symmetry guide will be the base for the flowers. I did this one a while ago, it's super easy. And I think it's always nice to have templates like this that you can sketch on top. After this we just have to start sketching on top, which I think is pretty helpful. To sketch I'm gonna use a Sakura Technical Pen. In the center of each symmetry I'm going to draw a circle. Use the symmetry guide to draw the petals. For the first one let's use a rounded wave shape. The same process with the arc shape. Grab the first example and you stretch it horizontal. The cherry blossom has very pointy ends that end in a V-shape. And we'll just grab from the second example and make the petals in the middle pointy. Here I'm gonna make a loop of like hook shapes. This is one of my favorites, really rounded. And for the final one we'll just use heart shapes. I will just draw some leaves around it. And with this Boschka pen, I will start lining the drawing. I really want to go back to my advice on the symmetry guides because as soon as you have something like that to sketch on the top, it's just a matter of being creative and trying different shapes, see what it works, see what it doesn't work. Watercolor paper can be hard to make lines but do them slow and let the ink flow on the paper and if you have to redo this process several times try until you make it. After making sure the ink is dry I clean the drawing up. Now we're on to the next step which is making black shadows where I use a wet brush to fade ink that I lay with the Poshka just doing gentle moves left and right and going backwards at the same time to try to create a nice smooth shading. When I do this I don't previously wet the paper but I recommend trying because it may help you. Now it's color time. I tape my color ink cups to the table because I'm a disaster. For the color process I use two brushes. The thinner one for color and the thicker one to fade. For the ink of course I'm using Echo Ink Colors. And I start the same process as I use for the black shadows, but with the color. Color palette for this drawing will be scarlet red, military green, bright orange, sepia deep, which in echoing colors it's pretty dark, but when you fade it, it's a really nice color. I did this color with a mix of reddish brown and magenta. We'll use magenta for the cherry blossom. This one I will use cool grey. Painting from light tones to dark tones for me is the way to go with watercolors. Laying a basic layer of shadows and after detailing as much as you want and it also gives you the opportunity of gradually building the drawing up. Now I'll use deep green and yellow ochre that I will use for most of the center of the flowers. This is it for this video. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed the video. Any questions or suggestions let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.